Yeah, so that's no. why I was double checking. Welcome back. I, f I was out walking around with Casper. Lucky this guy. I had Jake with me, and check this out. We stumbled upon this guy, DJ Chunk, up in this place, and just look around. We got tapestries. That's tapestry, right? This, this is all my homie stuff. Uh, obviously, it's all kind of OG shit, as you can tell. Uh, it's just some older shit. Yeah, he pumped it out, man. This ain't even my getup. This shit is dope. You could have said it was yours. I could have said it was mine, but I don't front like that. He ain't no liar. So, uh, DJ Chunk, tell me a little bit about uh, what you do, your music, and your inspirations. Uh, so, man, I've been DJing for something like, fuck, I don't know, eight years, something like that. Really, uh, like, 2010 is when I got my first setup. I uh, was still in high school, and I was just bedroom practicing, shit like that. And then just kept doing that, kept doing that. And then some homies from, I moved away from where I lived, and my homies continuously did hip-hop. And they heard what I was doing through a friend. We all went out to fucking dinner one time, and then they're like, let, you know, it showed my homie who makes the shit. And they're like, yo, you got to come do this with us. So I started going with the crew uh, from Utah. We're called The Outsiders, and we started making music there. And I did that shit for a few months, and they're still my boys. We do music. Um, but I was doing that, and that was more for hip-hop heads. And uh, I've always been a juggalo since I was 10 years old. So that was the inspiration, really, was like, Shaggy Tudo, Mikey Clark, DJ Clay, like those were my true inspirations. Uh, DJ Clay was the first DJ I ever saw live. Um, so it's all like, it all grew from the wicked shit to come from like mainstream hip hop. Um, so then, you know, I did my hip hop shit for a few months and I was like, you know, I want to do juggalo shit. So I hit up a local crew called the 801 Juggalo Hotline and these dudes fucking... We're just setting up local events, shit like that. It was a OG crew back in the day. It kind of got, like, resurrected and shit like that. It's been done. Um, but then we grew from there, from where I was doing little bar shows, playing my mixes that I had, like, created over the few years in my bedroom. I had never shown anybody, and uh, I showed these cats what I could do, and they just were blown away. Like, I performed for 100 people. There was only 12 people there, but same energy. Um, so we went, went from there to... Going from the small bar shows to hooking up with a local crew and keeping the shit going. And the whole time I just kept practicing, 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 like, nonstop, six hours a day, Sid. It was crazy. You know, I actually got to see DJ Clay here at the Gathering of the Juggalos 20th Anniversary. Dope guy. Dope DJ, by the way. Real dope shit. We actually bumped into each other the other night. Uh, I've met him maybe one other time, but this time it was a little more official and, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we kind of swap numbers, and hopefully me and dude are going to talk in the future. Uh, he's got a project coming out, too, that you might be interested in being a DJ Clay fan. Uh, we got to do, we uh, did a shot, of, it's a mix of rum and vodka, so I thought that was interesting. It was pretty good. Um, so I got to ask you, man, with DJ Clay, Shaggy Tudo, all these other inspirations, uh, what, what brought you into the Juggalo scene in the first place? Man, uh, yeah, honestly, I was, uh, I was just mobbing around. I was like 10 years old. And I crashed over at homie's house, and we go over to this this girl's house and shit. And her older brother's sitting over there smoking some weed, and he's playing some random ass shit. And all of a sudden, this crazy ass song comes on that sounds like a game show being set up. And all of a sudden, these two dudes are rapping about pulling this bitch in the most insane, just preposterous shit you could ever imagine. And then a month later, back in the day, for you little little kitties out there. There was an invention back in the day when we grew up. It was called LimeWire, and it destroyed any device that your parents had, and you got fucking in trouble. But I downloaded so much shit back in the day, so thank you, LimeWire, and I'm sorry to those computers and shit. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I heard it for the first time, and a month later, I was like, back when I was that young, I was listening to, like, fucking DMX, like, whatever the mainstream shit was, early 2000s, and, uh... I wanted, like, something different, and I remember I was like, damn, there's that, that ICP shit, and I was like, went, found it, and it was game on since I was 10 years old, dude, like, only juggalo in my school district back fucking little Utah and shit, um, yeah, man, it just came from that, and then slowly, like, I don't know what it was, but when I was 15, I really started analyzing the lyrics and shit, and, and then, I don't know, there was something about DJing, I saw that shit, and it was just like, it was different than being a rapper. Like, I wanted to be involved, but I didn't want to be, like, the rapper dude. So then, being the DJ, like, once I got my shot and, like, really learned how to do that shit, dude, like, 
DJing is just fucking my passion, being able to scratch. And that's like, there's multiple types of DJs, and I would never give up being like the scratch DJ because that shit, as you guys know, EDM is very popular, which all props to that, but the scratch DJs really don't exist anymore. So I was just, I get more props for that of being a scratcher than anything else, which is, you know, that's just my blood and fucking, that's it, man. I love the scratching shit. Like, ah. Speaking of what's in your blood, how you got started, and your inspirations, I gotta ask you this: What does being a juggalo mean to you? Uh, being a juggalo, man, it just means you always have a home to go to. Like I was always whatever. I had homies, and then at one time I had no homies, and the only people that would fuck with me were juggalos. And then he, I did the same cycle. So being a juggalo, man, is just always having a home, always having family, and it's just the wicked shit. It's just the wicked shit. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sid Jones. Stay tuned right here. We're at the Gathering of the Juggalos 20th anniversary.